All right, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Once again, I have to teach in this ghost town of Fort Mill. All right, I'm out here to preach the gospel. All right, all right, week in, week out, prophesy the downfall of America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible. All right, I'm gonna show the signs of the upcoming of uh, the second return of the Lord and the end of this age or this world. All right. Known as the age of wickedness, man. Ruled under the uh, the authority and power of Esau, which the Edomites are the descendants of Esau, which the Edomites are you so-called white people. You Israelites are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent. Alright? From your father's side. Alright? And um, yeah, preach the gospel according to the Bible. Alright? Okay. And I want to start giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Shah. That's who you really call God and Jesus Christ. All right. Yahweh means He exists. All right. Yah beginning meaning He. Hawa means to exist or be. All right. Bahashim means in the name. All right. And Yahweh Shah is who you really call Jesus Christ, which His name means Yah the beginning meaning He. And Hawa means to to uh, deliver. I mean, excuse me. So I. Yah the beginning meaning he, how shy means deliver. Slaki on that. Alright. I want to start out giving double uh well all praises, honor, and glory to Yah about Shemel Shah. Double honors to those a great millstone. Alright, that taught me this truth. And Shalom to the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. Alright. We start out. Alright. Today, Lord willing, I'm gonna start out with uh current events. Alright. And what time period we in? Because you got you got to know what time we in. A lot of people don't know what time we in because they're not paying attention. Number one, they don't have the proper understanding of what's the signs of the time. All right, I'm talking about these people in these churches. Okay, they honestly they don't know what the hell is going on. All right, and it's set up that way. Okay, all right, and even amongst Israel, those who should know better, a lot of them don't know what time period we in. All right. Nor are they warning their congregation or those that follow them, all right, to prepare themselves for the second return of the Lord, all right. So let's get started. All right? Start out first, okay. Start out with Matthew 24. All right, Matthew chapter 24. Verse 1, it says Jesus, but we know it's Yahushua, okay? We really call it Jesus Christ. All right, it says, Yahushua went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple, okay? Or the buildings of the temple. Meaning, this is back during the time of the Lord. Prior to the uh, second temple being destroyed, all right, by the Romans, okay? In 70 AD, under uh, started with Vespasius Caesar, and then his son Titus, all right, who completed that task, all right, and then honored and commend, uh, commemorated, all right, by his brother Demetrius, okay, all right, with the Ark of Titus, which showed proof, all right, to you clowns out there that's saying that the Israelites don't exist. That that Ark of Titus still is up in up in uh, what was it Europe? All right, and that was set up by Demetrius, all right, Caesar, all right, the brother of Titus, okay, and the son of Vespasius Caesar, okay, who obtained that position after Nero died, and then they had a short period of within one year, I think it was 68, it was either 68 or 66 AD, all right, before the Roman Jewish Wars, all right, that you had a succession of uh, four four Caesars in one year, ending with Vespasius, and then his son Titus, and then Demetrius, all right? Just giving you a little history background, okay? All right? So yes, the Jews do exist, all right? For that simple ass nigga, polite, no light, saying some madness like that, okay? That's number one. But prior to that, the Lord warned of that time, all right? And his disciples was asking him, okay, we know you about to go back to the Father, all right, you about to be crucified. You about to go back to the Father. So we we, we need to know um, proofs 
Alright? Undisputed proofs or, or or signs of your second return. Okay? So we will know okay what to look for prior to your return. Alright, because the Lord didn't drop dates, alright, of when he returned. He said that time only belongs to the Father. Okay. Alright. So he gave us signs. Alright. Matthew 24, 2. And Yahweh said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now how would that be possible? Okay. Yeah, you still have parts of the remaining of the temple, of the second temple that was destroyed during the time of Titus. Alright, when he took down the Jews. Alright, in 70 AD. Okay. Alright. But what is the Lord speaking about? He's speaking about the complete, utter destruction of the land of Israel. Alright? Okay? And that's the time we're approaching. We're in a time where World War III, alright? And mainly World War III, the issuing of the mark of the beast, race wars, alright? That's nation against nation. Famine, pestilence, tribulation, alright? Troubles. Okay, commotions. We in that time. So knowing the uh, the signs that the Lord gave us, all right, and having a proper understanding of it, then you should know what to expect, and you will know exactly what time we in, all right, and to uh, prepare yourself accordingly, all right. Okay, verse three, all right. Because when the land of Israel, the state, so-called state of Israel, all right, gets destroyed, which we're going to break that down, Lord willing, through the uh, scriptures, all right, going in depth in that because we're in that time, all right, when that land gets completely destroyed in this upcoming World War III, then that, which the Lord spoke, saying, all, all stones shall be thrown down, all right. And there should not be a, a stone left one upon another. Alright. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Alright. So they asked him three specific questions. Number one, they asked him privately. Okay. Alright. So really, when you read Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, and various other scriptures referring to this time, all right, and as parables referring to this time, it's only was given to the elect, okay? Which are the disciples, which are known as the prophets. They would be the only ones to be able to understand, well, receive these things, understand it, then break it down to the rest, okay? All right, so they was asking, when shall these things be? All right, which is a is a is a good question, okay? Cause you got clowns, like I said, polite, no light, simple ass nigga talking about, uh, because um, the Earth didn't or America didn't get destroyed before 2000 means that the Bible is not true. Nah, America's fate still is to be destroyed. It just was at that time. There were still prophecies that haven't that, that didn't take place in 2000 like they are today okay all right but that ain't gonna stop the fact that this place is gonna receive its judgment all right no light all right and they asked what should be the signs of thy coming all right the undisputable proofs all right or or or, or signs of thy second coming because they knew the Lord was going to return. He, he, he broke that down to them. And of the end of the world. Now the word world right there in the Greek is eon. Which means age. Uh, age is an uninterrupted period of time. Okay. Alright. Okay. Because there's three Greek words used for the word world in the New Testament. And not every place where you see the word world. Alright. Means the same thing. Okay, so you got to go back into the Greek or the original tongues, all right, and find out, number one, what is that word, and number two, what is the definition to that word, 